So with your autonomic nervous system, we're right now comparing the sympathetic versus parasympathetic. Um, sympathetic, again, is you see a lion or you're in trouble or the situation is very emotional. You become sympathetic and the parasympathetic is um, a relaxed, less stressful state. The sympathetic uh, is highly active in stressful situations. Obviously, you have an increased heart rate. Um, excessive leaves do some opt uh, excessive sympathetic um, state leads to suboptimal optimal decision making and slash performance. Um, it is vital in controlling the responses and maintaining your composure. Okay, this can be controlled through proper training, uh, stress inoculation, in regards to situations and other forms of um, uh, things such as breathing and more powerful breath, a more mechanically effective breath in regards to your RPR uh, breathing reset. So to height and heighten this graph here, what takes place is your normal resting heart rate and then um, as you as you get more stressful and your practice goes up or the situation increases, your your fine motor skills around this area can start to deteriorate. Now this can creep up even higher into a highly uh, advanced uh, uh, human, but but regardless, these, these the uh, the windows start to run out um, for optimal survival and combat performance. Um, this is your zone 120 to 145 uh, visual reaction time, cognitive reaction. Okay, um, then eventually your complex motor skills deteriorate, so your efficiency then is decreased. Uh, you can't run as fast and you are uh, not as coordinated to say the least now um, your heart rate gets into 170 175 cognitive processing deteriorates loss of peripheral vision you start to become tunnel vision um, depth perception loss of uh, near vision um, you know anything here uh, uh, up here is decision making you're really just running away from the stress but the point with this whole thing is that if you can keep these windows, okay, if the same situation, you can, with proper breathing and an RPR reset, you can keep your your um, function here versus at the higher end or maybe even here, um, what happens is you're a more efficient athlete, whether also this is a, this came out of the tactical triphasic tactical manual this athlete here is much uh, better at decision makings when your heart rates in the green versus uh, not breathing correctly and your heart rate can be higher so what you have is whether it's a trained athlete going uh, untrained athlete or the blue here is a trained athlete now you can see in the same situation what happens to the, the trained athlete in regards to his ability, his untrained athlete, I'm sorry, uh, his heart rate goes up faster and he goes through these zones at a much higher rate. Now in the same situation, a highly trained athlete with proper breathing, you can see where they're in these zones together. And obviously with the right breathing pattern and the right training, this athlete at the bottom here is much more effective at decision making and skills and so forth. Another example in here is that the, the trained athlete in the blue starts to hold off um, the the advanced um, motor skill deterioration uh, to this point let's say and this is a just a test where the other athlete lost his skills literally two minutes prior to that so you have to realize that by using these breathing patterns resetting the reflexes within those in the function of breathing this is what transpires and these are the things that can separate you um, from performing making the right decisions and actually just being less stressed because the the blue athlete here is able to handle more workouts and repeat them versus this athlete would not be able to repeat as often in the frequency so your your stress long term your tr stress short term and just the sheer function of how your body deals with stress is is at another level if the proper breathing pattern is correct